we all know that right now our country is under a lot of pressure. Um, every day we are receiving news that we have more cases of COVID-19. Um, we're losing young people, old people, middle-aged people. And I needed to do something to give us some type of hope to let people know across the country that I am here for them in any capacity <laughs> that I'm able to be. I'm obviously a bit far away, but my heart is still with everyone. And I knew that education was an area where I can lift that burden. And hopefully this scholarship funding is a way for them to understand that, yes, we are very isolated in the call to social distance from one another, but that doesn't mean that we can't join forces in other ways. I always believe that no one should compartmentalize themselves into only helping in one area. If there are multiple areas you can help in, contribute to that area. Um, I help single mothers, um, teen mothers that are just struggling to help take care of their infant child um, through my, my um, charity through Hope for Life. I um, have helped people who have been seeking um, domestic shelter from domestic abuse. I have in the past helped people with their tuition. Just little things. I, I honestly do not like publicizing all that I do because I like to move in silence and I think that everything I do is a personal relationship between me and that person. It's a very intimate exchange for me. I know that obviously in my position I can't always afford that luxury of not letting the country know what I'm doing because as a result of that they will think that I'm not doing anything. At the beginning of the pandemic I gave away money to families across Roaring Creek Village that were struggling at the start of the lockdown. That was very low key. A lot of people didn't know about that. And I liked that because it was very intimate between me and my village. Um, this, I want to make sure that I'm touching as many hearts I, as I can across Belize. So that's why I am reaching out to nine different areas. So it's all districts, three uh, more areas, which include San Pedro, Kikok, and Belmopan. Um, and hopefully, I won't, I already know I'm gonna have a hard time picking only two people from those nine areas. But, um, I mean, if I could give more, I would. But right now, this is all I can do. And I'm really excited about it. And I can't wait to see how it all turns out and, and how it has a positive effect on our community in these dire times.